Good morning, folks. Planetary geometry update. Right now, Mars, Venus, and Mercury are lined up aside the Sun. Then, in the coming days, Mercury and Venus will heliocentrically conjoin. Heliocentric is from the Sun's point of view. Each of the inner planets heliocentrically opposes Mars thereafter with a geocentric conjunction of Mercury and Jupiter, geocentric meaning from the Earth's point of view, all culminating August 10th with Mercury directly behind the Sun from Earth's perspective, the geocentric and heliocentric geometry. Readings for the top Atlantic quake range from 5.5 to 6.6, .6, perhaps some final Jupiter effects. It hit right on the ridge, but on one of the latitudinal aligned faults. The entire ridge was active yesterday, actually. Stormwatch, we're in the East Pacific where all the action is, Genevieve and Hernan, with another formation possible between them. Hernan is already a tropical storm and is drenching Mexico. And while these churn in the East Pacific, we do still have an eye on the development zone off the coast of Africa. We may see formation over the next four or five days. Let's look to Australia and New Zealand. Right now the strongest low is still between nations. When it runs, it'll come quick, my friends, to the east. We also still have a slight convergence crested on the west. How about a weather share out there? Pressure is where we need to look in Europe. We see a couple lows in the south and one just to the north of Ireland and the UK. Each of those has storms associated with it. You can see the cloud water here. And I'd also like to give some perspective to those in the major heat wave up in Sweden, Finland, Estonia. Contrast that with the areas well to the south. You are hotter than parts of Italy, Spain, and even northwestern Africa. Bet that doesn't happen too often. The United States is an easy forecast this evening. The heat and moisture come north, and where they crash into cooler air, they must equalize quickly above our heads. We pay the price down below. Southwestern limb of the sun, 171 angstroms, solar tornadoes, they look like sisters. In 304 angstroms, you can really see their interaction just prior to destabilization, release, eruption, and CME heading ahead of Earth's orbital position in a nice little goodbye to Jupiter. That's all our excitement as solar wind is calm, speed and density are relatively normal. The solar flaring is on a slow climb up, popping a little bit better, and it's mostly thanks to that baby group we said to watch between the older groupings, actually maybe trying for a delta in the back. I did say mostly because it does appear that the largest of those little flares came from the limb. We've got a lot of elders coming in, mostly decayed, but they do tend to be rambunctious every few days even as they fade and we're just barely getting to see the crest of a bigger one just to the north. Still the birthday week for our website? First link beneath the video takes you to suspiciousobservers.org where memberships are discounted to celebrate about 70 hours of great content in year one, hopefully more in year two. Helio viewer without SDO updates for five straight Earth rotations. You guys want me to take over? I don't take days off. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.